Hi, I'm Dawn and this is Rachel. We're from Girls Run the World. Um, we're going to be posting videos twice a week about all things running. If you want to subscribe to the channel, we're going to be covering training, all sorts of things. Um, I come from a physio background, so some injury work too. Today we're talking about training watches. Um, I am a runner, uh, have recently <laughs> increased a bit more what I'm doing, was just on Strava and then wanted to get a training watch and didn't really know what to get right yeah, and whether yeah. I didn't really understand the benefit of a training watch over just having Strava talking to me in my head uh, through my headphones or whatever when I was running and um, so give me I ended up getting a very basic forerunner from mm. Garmin which mm. I think was perfect for me so give us some of the basic benefits of a, of a I watch. mean I think the, the watch well first of all you don't have to be listening yeah yeah have your headphones on yeah. and listening to uh, Strava yeah um, and you don't need to take your phone with you then yeah because my phone's massive yeah, yeah exactly I think that's probably one of the, the main points really uh, is not to have to take your phone with you yeah um, and that it's very uh, it's very light to use a watch and it has loads of benefits in terms of you can set intervals so say if you've got a uh, interval session um, you can set it so that it will beep at you yeah, rather yeah, than having to think oh god have I have I done the right the right amount yeah you can set it to heart rate uh, and also syncs seamlessly with Strava so it'll upload automatically to yeah. Strava I and didn't our training peaks which we use to uh, train clients with yeah I was worried that I was going to have all have like all the information here then then I'd still want it on Strava yeah. and then and I think the other thing that was really helpful for me when I was starting to run a bit more is you can see your pace immediately yeah. you know, like on Strava it'll be like at the end of the mile it was like you were going at this pace now I'm a bit more experienced I've got a better feel for what pace I'm yeah. running at but when I was trying to learn what my first pace was it, it shows you you just see it immediately yeah, so yeah. you don't need to um yeah wait for wait that until mile. afterwards so yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. when i'm like oh my god this is really yeah, difficult yeah, because you yeah. ran the last mile out and i was like oh it's going way too yeah, quick yeah, yeah. that's why yeah yeah so it's much more immediate you know and then i think as you were just saying you then become a much more tuned into your body yeah. and how a certain pace feels so in the end uh, you can be wearing your watch and you'll know what pace you're running yeah. at without even looking at your watch i do think the um particularly the garmin when you upload that it, it gives you much more information than yeah. strava yeah. actually the break the breakdown is better and if you're doing intervals it gives you a pace for each interval whereas yeah. on strava it's it either mile or kilometer yeah, depending so you can't how break your it down. strava so from if you are ever virtually coaching with anyone for instance that's kind of important it doesn't give enough feedback for someone yeah. to give you the right kind of coaching advice so if you are thinking about getting an online coach I'd say you do really need to invest in that kind of watch because otherwise you're kind of slightly throwing money away because your, your coach yeah. is not being able to tell you or get enough information back from your, from your and training. And I, I started off with a really the, one of the most basic garments and I think if you're just running yeah. I think you can spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds the more expensive ones tend to be multi-sport they've got 36 hour batteries yeah. they've got all this stuff on actually Unless you're really, I, I or started doing triathlon. Yeah, exactly. Instance, if you do triathlon, then that, that can be quite good. But for simple running, especially when you're starting off, you can just have the the basic model will last you a long yeah, yeah, time yeah. in your running your running kind of journey before yeah. you might need to think about getting anything more than that. Yeah. 